So recently, I found a book that was up in the top, top shelf, buried away, forgotten about, filled with dust. I thought I had sold all of these books. These books came from the library. I don't know where, but they came from a library. They were super thick books. These books I was selling. I was selling these books for up to $300 because they were hard bound because these were Collier Magazine, the National Weekly Magazines from the 1900s. Why did I tear up a $300 book? Let's find out. Subscribe now. If you're new to my channel, my name is Eric. I am an eBay reseller. And recently, I would say over the last year or so, I got into vintage print ads and anything that has to do with ephemera, all right? And so I tore up a book a hardbound book from the library with the Collier's National Weekly magazine from 1919. Why? Because these are filled with some very old advertisements from Goodyear, from the war of spark plugs of cars. Let me show you. So in this video, I'm going to take you on a two part trip here. First, I'm going to show you about this suitcase that we got right here. A very, very cool suitcase loaded with stickers. And I'm going to tell you where I got it from. Second, we're going to go through this magazine right here. Starts off in March 1st of 1919. And these are from New York City. And they go up until, I believe, March 28th. So it's a one months worth of magazines that and we're going to go through and we're going to pick out the ads all right all right all right all right all right all right no more of the advertisements and the subscribe and like and all that stuff let's get into the video Before we get into showing you the book that I destroyed in order to recycle and reuse for print ads, just wanted to show you this uh, suitcase that I acquired in an auction. Actually, I didn't even pay for it. I heard the guy at the auction, he said to somebody else running the auction, I have a bunch of trash I need to get rid of. And I said, trash? What trash? He said, hey, there's a whole pile of trash out by the garage. I said, do you mind if I look through it? He said, help, help yourself. In the pile, I got a bunch of NASCAR boxes, a bunch of uh, probably 100 and 150 rifle magazines. Not newer stuff too, like 90s. 95, 96. And then this. I got a bunch of other larger pictures. Dale Earnhardt pictures, posters. But this is uh, pretty, pretty neat. It's a older suitcase. I think the measurements on it are 21 by 14 just a very cool cool piece going over just some of the stickers here we have the mtv some of these i don't even know but um this one says tell a friend this is like a hologram sticker i can't really make out who it is and doesn't have a name on it gaston's mill is it Colabiana? I don't know what county it is. Uh, Wall Drug of South Dakota. Down here we have this D 
uh, Dario finest quality strings. I'm assuming guitar strings. We have a guitar. This is like one of those stickers that you would pay, you know, you put a couple quarters in at a restaurant and then it would spit out guitar. So here we have uh, Top of the Rock XL's uh, guitar. Ross, Drive Carefully. A miniature version of this sticker down here, different coloring. And then if we turn this around, we have in the back here WSRD FM 101. Now, whoever owned this, I think this is kind of where they messed up. All of these stickers are upside down uh, with the handle being up top here. Uh, however, we still have some pretty cool stickers. I'm gonna leave it this way because I can flip the camera around in a minute and you'll see my hand coming from the top, but that way you can see the stickers. All right, so we have here Electrifying Sound, Lester Wheels Motorcycle, uh, the Space Shuttle, um, Nine Country, I'm assuming there's something behind here that's a radio station. Morally, morally, men do it with their feet. And it's got like a guitar, a uh, rocker just sh shredding out. Um, Washburn, nothing like it. A uh, pretty cool guitar string sticker in the back here. Another guitar string. Ohio National Guard. The B1B. Looks like the space shuttle. Golf oil. This one is home of the Scarlet Carnation. Alliance Ohio. A rock sticker. A flammable sticker. Roth Sound music strings and uh, this is a diebold suitcase over here to the left kind of hard to see but you got cycle news full one-year warranty the Preston Petty product we have the Bell bicycle CRA competition riders of America uh, down here we have the aerospace some radio station, maybe local 927. All the hinges, as you can see, work fine. Then we open this up. And you can see here just even more stickers. So I'll zoom in. We have Punk Rock here, Private Club, New Wave, Awesome Rocker uh, with a little cutout here. The Cleveland Indians, Cleveland Indians, now Guardians. Uh, don't drink and drive. Then we have the XLs, Top of the Rock, Dead End. Looks like some piano uh, keyboard. Quaker State. I'm wondering if that's the restaurant. Uh, Break Dancing, Goodyear. This is 1977. Another one of these stickers. The inside of this is not very clean. Um, it had a bunch of wires in here and a bunch of stuff. I'm just gonna list it as it is. Uh, whoever buys it, wants to buy it, can clean it. Uh, this is uh, just some type of powder from the age, I guess. Pretty neat stuff. Until this sells, it's going to sit as a backdrop in my media room or in my office here. I just think it's really, really cool. So I wanted to show you that. Subscribe now. All right. I hope this angle works out okay. If not, I'll change it up in the next video. So this is part of, as you can see, Collier's, the National Weekly. Uh, this is from New York City, March 1st of 1919. I took this out of a, a book that was probably that thick. And I've sold two other books, uh, different years. I think one was 1914 and one was 1915. 
uh, for over $300 a piece. I didn't realize I still had this one. It was just buried up in the shelf. And now that I'm doing print ads, I figured I would see what's in here um, and go from there. So uh, what has Wilson accomplished? I mean, I could just leave this as a full cover. Technically, this is the magazine cover for 1919, but we'll see. Just going to go through with you guys and we'll just, uh, let me try to switch this camera. All right, that's a little bit better. Uh, I'm behind the camera, so hopefully my voice picks up okay. So we're just going to go through here, see if there's any cool ads that kind of stand out. Americans, we thank you. The spirit of which Alice Lorraine returns to France. Making history, the peace conference of the men who dominate it. 1901. When the boys come home. That's just pretty neat. These are not, like, I haven't, I spoke too soon. Look at that. Actual size, 10-inch giant cord truck tire. That's just a great, great, great advertisement. Uh, first choice in every field. Uh, so this is an AC Titan spark plug. I mean, you can see this is a good size Good size magazine. Here's a Akron, Ohio. I'm gonna slide this up here. Akron, Ohio, Goodyear ad. Look at the mud. <laughs> uh, despite running for three years and covering 40,000 miles, the original set of four Goodyear SV solid tires are still doing good work on one of our one ton trucks. They are economy tires, Charles W. London. The set of four Goodyear solid tires mentioned above costs $149.70. They don't have solid, tire, <laughs> solid tires anymore. Uh, nice uh, train, train ad right there. Forward at a new pace. And then over here we have, looks like it's a continuation. Got the city in the background going into the mountains. Uh, National City Company, New York. The National City Company. Could split that up into two ads. Here's an ad over here in the corner for Ever Ready Radio Blades. And then on the right we have the Franklin car. You've seen me by the roadside. There are two reasons for my being there. To warn you of dangerous curves and crossings ahead. To remind you that you're not going the maximum return to get your money <laughs> invested. Unless your tire purchases are made on a cost per mile basis. So here's an ad for hood tires. Here's another sweet looking ad for Razor Shaving, shaving Company, Gem Cultry Company. Uh, shaving, shoes, uh, books, and then we got uh, what looks like some tractor parts up top. How to be a giant in the possible personality, energy, mind, and health. Here's a tobacco ad. Velvet tobacco, home sweet home. These boys didn't know what retreat meant and pep, say every mother's son charged, as though he was a whole American army. It was the proudest moment of my life. Back to America. So this is a, that was one magazine. Now this is the second for March 8th, 2019, or 1919. <laughs> I almost said 2019. shoes when the gun stopped 
I don't know, we got a lot in the news today, right, about guns and Canada and historic comebacks. That could be like a two-page two page ad. Prince Albert of England. Pretty cool. So now we're on March 8th of 1919. Here's a full color ad. Got a lot going on here. I know. <laughs> I, I do so bad with these names. The House of Kuppenheimer. The men who are coming home breathe the spirit of a new order. So we got, looks like them coming home, family welcome them, maybe siblings, brothers. Interesting. Uh, this page I wouldn't even use because of that other ad. Over here we have a champion, dependable spark plugs advertisement. Here's another Goodyear Akron, Ohio. Again, available to you. Pretty cool. Got a Wellington pipe advertisement. Now this here, I don't know why, but it's got pencil marks on here. Now, this is neat. Uh, it says Mazda. Has nothing to do with the car. That's a Mazda light bulb. Pretty cool. Auto Strope Razor. On sale all over the world. My 10 years with a corn. <laughs> Arrow. Form fit collars. The cough that stopped the great evangelist. Pretty cool stuff here. Uh, Smith Brothers of Poughkeepsie. Poughkeepsie, New York. Manning. Speed Grits. What do you think about these ads? Uh, leave a comment below. Let me know which, uh, what's your favorite one. Sexology. In parts in a clear, wholesome way in volume one. Knowledge a young man should have, knowledge a young husband should have, knowledge a father should have, knowledge a father should have, should impart to his son, and medical knowledge, and the list just goes down and down. Pretty neat. There's like a bank ad up here, and then you go into a shoe, shoe advertisement. All right, so we have a uh, Miller Tires. You know, I, I heard somebody else say this too on, on YouTube and the name's drawing a blank right now, but the quality, right? The quality of the ad. And I know these were magazines back in the day. They were kind of probably like throwaway magazines, but there was no other way to advertise. So the, the quality and the... The way these people had to draw this stuff and, and get it into the press, it was just a lot of work went into it. Mr. Ford's Peace Party. I'm going to do a series on this uh, book that I, like episode one, episode two. Because I, like I said, this book was probably that thick. Just loaded when the guns were silent. The Bellings and Spencer Company, Hartford. That'd probably be Hartford, Connecticut. What Redfield thinks about foreign trade. The war that isn't over. Here's an, a full ad. The Mimic is a new sort of patriotism. And the meme Mimeograph. That's pretty cool here. Oakland Sensible 6. 
Sensible six motor car, whether closed or op open model, carries a pound of unnecessary weight. What is quite as important, no Oakland is I was looking down here from 18 to 25 miles per gallon of gasoline and from 8,000 to 12,000 miles on tires. Check out that hot water tank or that water heater, I should say. That's pretty cool. They don't make them like that anymore. Got kids taking a bath, playing with water. Shoot straight. Straight as a streak of light. Ivor Johnson. Revolver. Over here we got John's Manville. Serves in conversation. Oh, check this out. <laughs> Asbestos. I'm probably mispronouncing that. I mispronounce everything, but... Asbestos. Asbestos. And it's Allied Products for insulation, cements, roofing, packing, linings. Wow. Bethlehem Motor Trucks. Internal Gear Drive. Here's a Tiffany and Company. Since 1837. Brake lining, mile after mile of wear. Here's another good year. For men who seek a more enduring six, this is the new Victory model. Sterling tires. Closed cars, moderately priced. Look at all the room in there. Rex, all seasons top. What it costs to feed a man. Cost of 3,000 calories. Cost of 3,000 calories in Quaker Oats, 15 cents. $1.23 round steak, $1.71 veal cutlets, $2.34 in salt codfish. Fred, fresh fish is $1.80. Canned peas, $1.62. Hen's eggs, $2.10. And broiled chicken, $3.30. In Quaker Oats, these calories cost only $0.05 cents per 1,000. In lobster, they cost $6 per 1,000. Here's what they cost as this writing in some necessary foods. I just love this stuff. Heinz vinegars, glass bottle. Ever ready shaving brushes, the gem razor. I mean, I just think if I owned like a barbershop, this would look really cool in there hanging up. See that it has this motor Robbins and Myers Motors. <laughs> it says down here whenever you see any labor saving device that is equipped with a Robbins and Myers motor. You can make up your mind then and there that it is good, although all through, and that its owner is an enthusiastic owner. Uh, Kohler, America's Fortunate Future. Harvard Classics. How's it? A cl I mean, it's 1919. <laughs> Beacon Shoes. The Automatic Electric Company. Are you there? This English telephone greeting became the custom because uncertain and slow connections used to be so common. There's a fun fact. Are you there? I didn't know. That's pretty cool. We've moved on to March 22nd of 1919. Some images here of the war. So not everything in this magazine is going to go up, but a lot of the full page tire, automotive, 
spark plugs, some civilian soldiers undoing the U-boat's work. Save the surface and you save all. Paint and varnish. So this looks like a siding, house siding. Packard Price Insurance, Packard Motor Company. For him, Toledo, Ohio. The price this season is 985 Overland. Monroe calculating machine. Here's a, the difference means the safety of your car. So they're talking about the tire here. He shot the gun. All praise to Essex. $1,395. Looks like somebody penciled in that. Thousands will ride in it, will you? Can you imagine buying a brand new car for that today? Brake lining. Here's a oven baked beans. Two in one shoe polish. There's another ad for the arrow collar. Drop that cough. Another cough drop ad. Yankee tools. The postal life way is Uncle Sam's way. Kind of getting into a lot of like the classifieds, the little, uh, the ends here. Madison Kip, oil kips, keep cars new. Now we're on March 29th of 1919. I may list these just for the date, you know. This, uh, I don't know what's going on in here, but it says, I hit him in the head with a hammer. I says, very sarcastic. What? Berlin today, as seen at first hand. I gotta sneeze. Berlin. Let's see. Here's another really cool Oldsmobile truck ad. Your truck for your work. Oldsmobile economy truck. That's pretty neat. Dutch Boy Products. National Lead Company. Standard 8, a powerful car. Oh, that's nice. Rio, R-E-O, the gold standard of values. Mallory Fine Hats. Vacuum Oil Company from New York. <clears throat> Caterpillar Tires. Makes you wonder if these tires, like, you know, would work on vehicles today.
world's records of economy front wheel drive trucks hmm. this says down here three other huge factories a total of 65 million dollars worth of front wheel drive trucks <clears throat> we got just a few more pages left uh, uh if you really enjoyed looking at these ads with me um uh, please uh hit the like button comment and like i said you know uh subscribe tell a friend and um let me know in the comment section below what was your favorite ad that you saw in here Keeps the noonday meal fresh and appetizing. <clears throat> Gem razor. So even though we have a lot of like uh, brands that are the same, the ad's different, which is what I, I like that too. And then we're on the last page. These are pretty neat to look at. Let me go ahead and pull that off here. So these are classified, right? Like the Craigslist of the day, help wanted. I want 40 men and women quick to take orders for calmer raincoats. Thousands of orders. Does that say waiting for you? I'm trying to look through the camera. Waiting for you, $2 an hour for spare time. Math Maher, M-A-H-E-R, made $53.30 in one day. Cooper, $28.75 in four hours. I will give you $2,500 a year. That's just awesome. And then the last page here <clears throat> is a Tarvia. Preserves, roads, prevents dust excellent all right so this is the end of the video i really uh, do appreciate you uh sticking around and looking at these uh full page ads like i said i have probably eight or nine more sets of these um, that are different and i, I really want to go ahead and show you those i'm going to do the next one next week on thursday if you have any interest in this uh decked out sticker suitcase for decoration uh it'll be in my ebay link below and uh, as always guys i really appreciate all the views in my last video and the subscribers that came over uh welcome again my name is eric the reseller and i've been selling on ebay and other marketplaces for as long as i can remember and yeah so i'm just babbling and rambling at this point all right guys as always Remember your why, change your perspective, complete well, and I will see you on the next video. Take care.